Hi everyone, welcome to today's session on managing keynotes using PyRevit. Today we'll be going through setting up a keynote file, creating keynotes and categories, modifying keynotes, placing keynote tags, and exporting and importing keynotes using the Manage Keynotes uh, tool from PyRevit. Uh, firstly, let's get a quick understanding of a keynotes file. So a keynotes file is an external text file that Revit references for keynotes. Each keynote contains a key value and a description that is used for tagging of the elements in your project. Uh, as of today, managing these natively in Revit is notoriously difficult. Uh, the editing must be done in a text file and it requires a little bit of technical knowledge uh, and a careful management. Uh, the PyRevit Manage Keynotes tool really does change how we manage these files, simplifying it um, a lot and uh, making it much more user-friendly. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a Keynote file. So to use PyRevit's Manage Keynotes tool, firstly, you'll need a Keynote file. If your firm has a standard one, uh, you should make a copy of that and copy it to your project folder. Otherwise, if you don't have a Keynote file, uh, you can uh, start with a blank text document. So I'm gonna start with a blank text document for this one. So let's uh, go ahead and run the tool. So it's up here in PyRevit tab under Manage Keynotes. Okay, so that's um, given a warning to say that it's not accessible. So we need to select that Keynote file or we'll click OK. In this case, I'm going to right click in this space where my project is kept and create a new blank text document. And we'll just call this, uh, we'll call it project job number Keynotes. Okay, and we'll go open on that. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is that this interface is much simpler than editing the text file. Uh, we'll take a look around at the interface in a moment. Uh, for now, let's take a look at managing uh, or creating keynotes and categories. Uh, first off, for this tool to work, all keynotes must be assigned a category. Uh, to create a category, we'll go over to the right here and we'll click on add a new keynote category. That'll bring up this dialog. So we'll need to create a, uh, a key for our category. So we're gonna call this F, F and E. And the name of this category, we're going to call it furniture, fixtures and equipment, like so. Okay, so that's now created our category. Next, uh, we'll need to add a keynote to do that. We'll go to the plus over here to add a new keynote. Again, we need to create a key. So we'll call this one FR and we'll call this uh, fridge, add keynote, and that will create a keynote. Now, whilst we're creating that, it actually assigned it a category. Uh, let's go ahead and create another keynote here. Uh, this time we'll call it DW for dishwasher. Now, if you do want to change the um, the casing or the text of your uh, keynotes, you can use the handy little buttons on the right here. So if you'd like to convert it all to uppercase, select that and it will do so. Now the, the parent uh, category is listed down below F, F and E, and we'll add that in there. As you can see, this is much easier um, than editing the text file. Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and um, close that. Um, well, actually what we'll do next is uh, we might reload a keynote file that I have prepared earlier. So just to save us a bit of time in creating them, we'll go to the three dots up the top here, which is the load or open keynote file. 
And I'm going to go and find an existing one. So I've got one in here that I've used in the past. And we'll go open. And it needs to be converted. So we're going to use the convert button there. So this is a, uh, just to show you that file, this is a, a typical Revit Keynote file. Looks like this. Um, it's tab delimited. So on the left is the key. On the right is the description. And further to the right with another tab is the category. And all the categories are listed at the top. Once we convert it, it will add some code in there. So we'll click convert. And that's completed. It's a very quick process. And I'll show you what that keynote file looks like now. So this, this is the same file, uh, except uh, Pirate Revit has added all of these extra text strings. So these are just used to manage the data of the file. These are actually single line here. If you zoom out, you can see anything with a hash will be ignored by Revit. So uh, all of this information that's tucked in here that the, the tool uses will actually be ignored. So it's a clever little process. This file can actually be used without any additional software. You don't have to worry about someone else having uh, PyRevit. They can still use this file. So converting it is actually quite safe. All right, I'm going to launch the Keynote Manager again. I've actually set up a keyboard shortcut for it, MK. And that's quite handy because you'll want to be able to get into these quite quickly as you'll find you'll use it quite a bit. All right, uh, let's have a look at um, modifying our keynotes now. Now, if we go over to the side here, well, actually, let's just take a look at browsing this before we get into that. Um, so now that we've got a few keynotes here, um, you can actually expand and contract or filter by clicking at the top here. We can see all the categories, contract them. You can browse to different categories, FF and E, for instance, um, or you can search. So um, chair, for instance, um, or filter. And you can actually filter by where the keynotes are actually in use in your project, for instance. We'll go select on that, and we can see that these are all the keynotes that have been used, how many times they've been used, as well as if we hover over it, what views they are actually used on. And that's a really handy um, tool there. If you'd like to in interrogate that further, you can actually select the keynote and use the magnifying glass and to find all of the instances of that and then navigate to that location using the magnifying glass like so. Very handy, as you can tell. Okay, so let's head back into the Keynote Manager. Nice part about going in and out of the Keynote Manager is it remembers what you uh, what the last interface was set up with. Uh, obviously, there is the search, which we've, we've tried that out, uh, the filters. Now, on the right here, we have all of the buttons to edit the categories. So we have already added a new keynote category, but you can edit them using the simple edit tool, delete, or change the key. Uh, just note that same for keynotes, uh, there's two buttons to either change the description or change the key. Um, so you won't be able to do both in one go. You can see if I edit that one, the key is grayed out. If I edit the key, you might have to click on something here. We'll try it on the keynote, change the key. That's how you do so. Okay. All right. Um, now, as you're editing, um, you may be editing either the file or you might be editing within here. Um, if you are editing the file directly, and I'll bring that up, you know, let's go um, basin, instead we call it type one, we'll call it type A, for instance, um, and I'll click save on that. We go back to our file, it hasn't updated until we hit refresh here. So we can reload those, and there it is there, basin type A. Now, this tool is 
quite robust and can handle multiple changes at once. So those have been struggling with Keynote files getting corrupted and the like. Uh, this is a really great way to manage them. Uh, I'd, I'd say edit them and manage them through the tool as opposed to going through the text file is what I've just done. Okay, but others might be editing it. So you might click refresh to get their changes. All right, once the changes are uh, updated in here, you can update your model by clicking the update model uh, button, which will reload these changes back into your project. Okay, that's kind of like reloading your Keynote file in the more traditional sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit a Keynote. Uh, now we do need to bring in our fridge. So uh, let's well, let's just uh, edit one of these. Actually, we'll just change our basin back. Let's go with uh, edit this keynote. First, we'll change it back to type one, update, and click on that, update the key. Now, the good thing about this tool, another good thing, is it'll show you what's been used already in red. And I've updated that. Other things you can do, again, delete, edit, um, add children, like child um, structures to the tree, uh, duplicate, and change the category as well. Okay, so now that we've got a bunch of keynotes, let's place some into our project. Now you can do that directly from this tool, which is quite cool. So let's place in um, some chairs. So I'll type in chair into my search. Now I can see that chair type one and type two have already been used. So naturally the next thing to use is type three. Now I'm just gonna close this and move to the plan that I wanna be using. And we're gonna run the tool again. Type three, what you do is you go to the side here and you pick what type of keynote you would like to place. In this case, an element keynote, that's probably the most common type. And then you can double click the key, key value and that will inject that key value into the elements that you pick. So I'll pick this chair here. It'll go to a question mark, but once you hit escape twice, it will inject that into it. So escape, oh, not F1, escape, escape, chair three. Run the tool again. We're gonna do type four now, and you can see it's remembered my search. Element keynote, double click that. I'm gonna place it on these four chairs. I'm gonna do them all together, and then press escape, escape, and they've been placed back to manage keynotes. All right, um, and then of course you can do different types of keynotes. So if we'd like to um, tag say our flooring, I think we don't have any there. Um, you can actually, let's uh, create a new keynote. It will be under Materials, create a new keynote, timber flooring, and I'll just call it Tim. Oh, we might have one already. Actually, must have been looking in the wrong um, timber flooring material. Okay, I have been playing around with this. Let's just use timber cladding. You can go material keynotes, double click that and we'll just place it into this floor, escape, escape. And that's actually placed it into the material of that floor. So just to be clear that the differences between um, the element and the material is, element is in here and material will be inside the actual material in here. Okay, but that's that's covered in our um, keynotes file. Um, there it is there. keynotes class. Uh, and finally, I'd just like to show you how to import and export keynotes. So I'll go into the keynote manager again. Now, earlier we did add um, a fridge, which is not in here. Um, so let's add that in by import keynotes. We've got our file that we prepared earlier. Open that up. Um, and do you want to skip any duplicates? We usually say yes. And then we can see now we've actually got a fridge in here, which um, uh, we created earlier in our other Keynote file.
Uh, lastly, if you do want to export these keynotes to a fresh file, you can export them all. This will export it as a native um, keynotes file. Just as a, a plain text file, which I've got here. And I'll bring that up. And there it is. And that's your traditional sort of keynote file that you'd normally use with Revit. So nothing to, to worry about. Um, in terms of upsetting the keynotes files.